Hey folks, Matt Eason here, Scholar Gladiator. I'm going to keep this really brief, and I have spoken about this topic before, both um, on Facebook pages and forums, and also here on my channel as well. And uh, it's simply about the Red Dragon Glove, the much maligned Red Dragon Glove. So um, the reason I'm making another video about this is consistently this glove is, as we would say in Britain, slagged off um, by people on the internet. Now, what it is not good for is steel longsword, no question. But what it is good for is steel sabre. And this seems to be a point which is um, greatly missed by people who are essentially mostly longsworders making sweep sweeping statements about the Red Dragon um, glove. And uh, it's not applicable um, when they say, so what do they say? The longswords say this is a completely inappropriate glove for sparring with. Um, some people even go as far as to say it's an inappropriate glove for drilling with. Well, I would suggest if you're getting hands injured uh, or even broken whilst wearing a glove like this in drilling, uh, I, I can't imagine what kind of drilling you're doing. I think it must be pretty close to some pretty intense sparring. But um, most of our drilling, it's is done without gloves at all or with very thin leather gloves at most. But um, a lot of negative things have been said about this glove, but you have to take it in context, okay? So is this appropriate to... Um, competition level or even just fairly full-on club level longsword sparring? No, it is not. Is it appropriate to competition level or uh, club level sabre sparring? Yes, it is. Um, uh, now, are they perfect? No. They have lots of issues and they could be made a lot better. The design as a whole uh, is needs completely revising and I understand that the people at the HEMA shop are and have been for a long time in the process of doing that. It takes, as someone who develops um, equipment with manufacturers, it's an absolute freaking nightmare getting something to market. So unless you've done it, to a certain degree, there's a, there's a certain amount of uh, put up or shut up, although you are completely entitled to criticise a product as an end user. Of course, I wouldn't take that right away from you. Uh, but fundamentally, there are a number of things that could be improved relatively easily about this glove. End of finger protection, um, side of fingers protection, uh, the fact that this just doesn't need to be here. There's better wrist options, the better cuff options. The back of the hand is strangely stiff and flat. The uh, knuckle piece is badly designed, doesn't fit inside certain hilts very well, and things like this. But the fingers of this and the thumb of this are overall relatively good for things like um, sabres and lighter swords. So the question really about um, you know, whether this is good for steel sparring, well, it depends entirely on what type of sword you're using. For sabres, some people might go, oh, I don't even think they're good enough for steel sabre sparring. Show me what's better. Show me what is better and that you can actually hold a sabre like a sabre with. Uh, if we go to Russia, there are very good sabre fences using steel sabres on a regular basis, using nothing more than sturdy leather gloves, okay? And they, I won't say they get away with it, because obviously you do get broken fingers. Um, and I used to do that myself, and I ended up with a broken finger, so I switched to these. And I have never had a serious hand injury since using these. And in fact, uh, I won't say that I don't know anybody who's had a not had a serious injury uh, uh, in doing sabre with these, because I can think of a few, you know, finger breaks and stuff like that. But the basic point is, for steel sabre, what else is there? This is the best we've got. Uh, some people use something like the Spez Heavies or even the um, uh, St. Mark's um, gloves, but the point is they're so massive that you can't fit them in a sabre hilt or at the very best you can jam them in there and hold a sabre like it's some kind of baseball bat. You can't actually manipulate it like a sabre should be manipulated. So. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> these are the best uh, Sabre gloves currently on offer for what we do. I haven't seen anything better. If there's something better that comes along, I will immediately throw this glove away and buy it. Okay, I'm not wedded to this. I'm not sponsored by them or anything else. I will happily get a better glove for sabre fencing when it comes along. Uh, so there we go. I'm not gonna, uh, the, the one final thing I would say actually is clearly there are weapons between longsword and sabre. There are um, sword and buckler, for example. 
you've got to decide for yourself what you think the best gloves are for that. Uh, side sword, very problematic because it has to be something that fits into a side sword hilt. I know uh, Ilka, for example, Ilka uh, Hartkinen. Um, up in Finland, he has um, made a glove which is a combination of the sparring glove, it's called the Polish glove, made by Barbara, and, and this glove, because he likes the fingers of this, but he likes the cuff of that, that's probably the direction we need to go into, something like a hybrid between those two. But for side sword and sword and buckler, you know, arming sword, stuff like this, uh, we have issues with even with basket hilted sword obviously the basket hilt of the back sword or the broad sword protects the hand very well uh, but you do need protection um, but you've got to fit it into the hilt so that's problematic as well so every type of hema sword discipline has its own challenges but for saber I don't know anything better than these at the moment. I have tried various other gloves by other manufacturers who I won't mention here, uh, and they've all been crap, either because they can't hold the sword properly, or they don't protect very well anyway, um, or they're too massive. So there we go, uh, Red Dragon Glove. Yes, it is crap for some things, but yes, it's kind of reasonably good, or at least the best we've got for other things. And that's the reality of the Red, red Dragon, Dragon Glove, as far as we are at this moment in time in history in February 2019. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, folks.